Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and today I want to talk to you about fishing the hula grub. Great bait for smallmouth fishing. This is, this is a bread and butter bait. If you're fishing for smallies, this is an awesome bait to use. All we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit about how you rig it, how to use it, and then we're going to, I'm going to take you out in the water and we're going to go fish it. Also, I've just got this rigged on a ball head jig. That is very straightforward. I'm not fishing this in, in any cover or anything, just open water, not a whole lot of rocks and stuff. So uh, I'm going to be fishing that. The ball head jig, football head jig works just as well. Uh, it actually works really well if you're fishing a lot of rocks and stuff. It doesn't get hung up as much. If you want, you can get jig heads with a wire guard on it that will uh, prevent weeds from getting hung up in there if you're fishing a little bit of weeds or a little bit of woody cover. Uh, it'll help prevent some of those hang-ups. But that's it, just a ball head jig or a football head jig, perfect for those situations for fishing this bait. I'm using a, an eighth ounce, in, eighth ounce jig head. That's a good starter. Um, you can go you know, quarter ounce or three eighth ounce. Any more than that's a little too heavy. A lot of the bites come on the fall, so you want a slow fall. So an eighth ounce is perfect for that. I'm using six pound fluorocarbon line on this. Nice clear line. It's got good sensitivity on it. Um, I could feel this since we're using a lot of this on slack line. You need that sensitivity. So fluorocarbon line is what we're using today. Six pound test. And because it's a real light wire hook here, we don't want to get too heavy on that. Don't, use, don't want to use heavy line. The heavy line also allows this bait to flow freely. It's, it's not going to inhibit the action of it. But also we want to make sure that we match it with the right rod. So this rod is a medium light action rod, spinning outfit. That's what we're going to be using today. Don't use anything heavier than that. A medium heavy action rod is too much. You might end up breaking the line or straightening out the hook during the hook set or the fight back to the boat. So a medium light action has got plenty of give, but it's got good backbone still to fight that fish and set that hook. All right, so that's the gear we're going to be using. Now let's go out and fish it. All right, so with the hula grub, it's very simple to fish, actually. All you're going to do is cast it out there and pay real close attention while the bait is dropping, you want it to fall in a completely slack line. So when you're doing that, it's really hard to detect the bite. The only way you're going to know is by watching the line where it enters the water. So you want to see if the line twitches, jumps, pops, moves. Maybe it starts to peel off faster than, than it was. Just anything different that you didn't cause, it's probably a fish. So first thing you want to do is just cast it out there. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast it out here and watch that line. I'm just going to flip the bale over, bring the rod tip down so I'm ready to set the hook and watch that line carefully. I'm watching it fall, I'm watching it fall, watching it fall. Okay, and it hit the bottom. And the reason I know it hit the bottom is the line just stopped moving and it went slack. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to lift down, uh, reel down to it and just lift it up off the bottom and let it fall again on slack line. Only this time, if you watch, I'm going to bring the rod tip down about the same speed as the bait is falling and I'm going to reel up that slack. I still want that bait to fall straight down, but here I'm trying to maintain contact with it. This is what some people refer to as, as a semi-slack line. The reason you want to do that is because a lot of times the bite happens on the fall or when you lift up on it, sometimes that's when they'll hit. So. They'll watch it sit on the bottom, you lift it up, and suddenly they just grab it. Come here, dude. I want to show your face. Come here. It's a good fish. These smallies sure fight hard. <laughs> All right, come here. Come here. Now, good size fish here. All right. <laughs> That's how the little grub. <laughs> the kind of fish you're going to catch with this bait. Um, yeah, moving along the bottom, I was just sitting, let it sit down there. When I lifted it up, that's when he popped it. Let him go. There we go. All right. Now, so just pay real close attention when you do that stuff because they'll just lift it. And you ever thumped it? You didn't, I didn't feel a tap tap or anything. He just lifted it up and grabbed it right when I started picking it up off the bottom. They throw it back out there, and I'll show you one other way to, to do the retrieve. So that one was you lift it up, let it drop on slack line. Again, I'm watching the bait. Here, and though, this time we want to drag it on the bottom. It's like you want to, want to imitate a bait 
you know, a fish that's, that's feeding off the bottom or a crawdad, so you know, like a sculpin or something like that or, or a crawdad. So all you're going to do is keep the rod tip pointed down and you're just going to crawl it on the bottom. Just reel it, move it with your rod tip, reel up the slack, keep your rod tip down so you're ready to set the hook, and just move it. And if you notice, you set the hook, I, you know, I didn't set the hook that hard on that fish. If you have an exposed hook, it's a light wire hook, I'm only using six pound test, so you don't have to set it really hard. Not at all. And you'll have that fish. And those are the basic ways to fish it. Another way I like to do this is, you know, I'll throw this out there, you know, past the back of the boat, and I'll give it an extra couple, 10, 15 feet of line, and I'll just drag it along the bottom using the trolling motor. I'll drag it along maybe, Set the trolling motor at about a 10, 20, drag along and just cover deep water. Great way to fish, particularly in the winter or in the summertime when the fish are holding off on, on drops and ledges, creek channels, when they're fishing, um, when, they're, when they're holding off on, on rock humps, anything like that during the winter and the summertime, that's what you want to fish. And just drag it along the bottom and a lot of times the fish will just pick it up right off, off the bottom. Great way to fish. All right. Anyway, those are the different ways to fish this bait. <laughs> and you can see what kind of fish it caught like the one I just caught. You're going to have a whole heck of a lot of fun with this. For more tips and tricks like that, visit BassResource.com.